Hello everybody, how are you today? Today we are going to start with the TOEFL writing part of the test. So there are basically two types of essays that you need to write at the, at the TOEFL test. The first one is the integrated essay and the second one is called independent essay. Basically, I'm going to start today teaching you how to write the integrated essay, which basically means that you have a piece of audio and a piece of reading together, and you need to make comparisons where it's relevant. All right? So, there are some key words that I usually use to make comparisons between reading and audio. For example, I start my first paragraph saying, like, the author of the reading believes that, and I say the main idea, all right? But the lecturer casts doubt on the claims made in the article. He thinks that, and then we show a contrast. In other words, whatever was said in the text is different from the audio, all right? In paragraph number two, we are going to do exactly the same, but we are going to avoid repetition. So we are not supposed to repeat words. So we can say, first of all, the author points out that whatever. So when we talk about the author, we are talking about the reading part. You say it's mentioned that, and you give any details to support your idea. And then you can say, this point is challenged by the lecturer. He or she says something, okay? Furthermore, he or she argues that, and then you complete the details that you want to support. So basically, again, you're comparing the audio and the reading, okay? In paragraph number three, with exactly the same thing. We say, for instance, secondly, the author contends that that's what he claims, okay? Just using another word. You say, the article notes, blah, 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 and you give your supporting details. However, the lecturer repeats this argument. He or she suggests something different. Again, that's a contrast between both of them. And he or she elaborates on this by, and then you give the details why he or she elaborates on this. Okay? And then, in the last paragraph, finally, the author states that the article establishes that, and you say exactly what you want to say. And the lecturer, on the other hand, Posits that, in express the idea, he or she puts forth the idea that, and then you show again another contrasting point. So basically, for this essay, you only have 20 minutes to write, so you need a template to make your life much easier. So you need to know which words you're supposed to use and avoid repetition. That's why you're using casts out, points out, argues, contends, rebukes, elaborates, establishes, puts forth, or posits that. All those words, they are kind of synonyms, you know? And we, are, we avoid repetition, and that's really positive for our essay. So, those were the tips of the day. So next class, I'm going to discuss with you the other type of essay, which is called independent essay, okay? So thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See you.